look, I'm not, I'm not happy that in the midst of all the stuff that I've covered thus far about emotional, you know, emotional growth, growing up in the hood, black stories. I hate that my my realm enters into the fray of popular topics. Now, I don't mean that because, like, I hate talking about popular topics. Obviously, y'all like my breakdowns. I've been seeing y'all commenting a lot more. I'm fucking with that. Thank you for the audience. I appreciate that. Um, I got plenty of videos lined up for you. I think this one's going to go out today raw. Your relationship with Latasha, yeah. have you slept with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. So I'm going to try not to pause as much or break my stride. You must be sleeping under a rock or something. You don't understand what's happening here. So I don't have to edit it and you can put it up to two times speed or 1.25 speed, whatever you do. And that should give you a nice video for today. I'm recording this on August 1st. So it's happening today. So this will be like my first on target type video, right? Be anyway, I'm trying to fill time so that way you can like, subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified. We gotta talk about. So before I get to this tweet specifically, before I get there, today, Angela Carini had her Olympic dream shattered by Imane Khalif, a male boxer. It is suspected that he broke her nose. Do not let this pass quietly. Men should not be allowed to beat women for sport. Save women's sports. So there's thousands of ways I could go about discussing this. Thousands of ways. And the multitude of the multiverse escaping inside of my head going crazy right now. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to chill on this and do it step by step. I think as you've probably already heard from other people, read on Twitter, read on your other websites, this is not a trans woman. This is not a trans person. This is just a really strong woman. That's it. It is suspected that he broke her nose. Okay, Doug, I'm gonna be honest with you. MMA, like Ronda Rousey, like I'm, 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 it bothers me that things like this get to, get to go places. It, it bothers me that like I'll click a profile. It's clearly, uh, look at this. Autistic, desister, w desister, woman, prolific turf, four men in an office, agent, blah, blah, blah. Clear propaganda, uh, like, uh, like clear, clear, whatever. There are, every sport has injuries. So like you saying this as a, you're doing the thing you do with uh, uh, gender affirming surgery. You make it about the one thing, then you say it's vile, then you say it's disgusting, then you say they're chopping their dicks off or whatever. You say like genital mutil, you say these weird ass words, right? So I immediately look at this and say, okay, so you've framed this a certain way that doesn't feel right to the context of what you're trying to accuse this situation of being the the thing you're trying to, to to give into as this is what's going on so i'm already skeptical do not let this pass quietly women should not be allowed to beat women for sport i it, the obvious part 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 is gonna be 40 percent of cops like I just, you should be allowed to beat women for sport. You should really look outside a boxing ring where people are supposed to punch each other. This is what I was just talking about with my chat a few minutes ago, actually. How the obvious seems so obvious that it's starting to get painful to see people fall for it. But the final part of this tweet and why I spent so much time breaking it down. Save women's sports. I was so unaware that boxing was a woman's sport. But then you look at who posted it from the beginning, go to the origin, and then it becomes pretty obvious. That's the funny part, is that once you take a look at where you're getting your information from, everything kind of becomes obvious. But let's say you're one of those weird people who wanna sit there and be like, but are you saying that men don't do this? Cool, now that I've given you the facts. I need to give you the receipts for the facts, right? Fair play for women. Immediate red flag. Defending the sex-based rights of women and girls. You can support our work here. You ever notice how this is all going in one direction and nobody's talking about women being in men's sports? 
Because what is a man's sport? Once you take five seconds to ask yourself, what do you mean by that? All of it falls apart, which is why the Republican side of the aisle is falling apart over the word weird. A couple punches to the head and it's all over. Like Floyd Mayweather? Like any boxer ever? Fight lasted just 46 seconds. As if Ronda Rousey... IOC allowed this male boxer to fight a woman. He won. Fight abandoned after 46 seconds. Hey, hey, where's the man in any of this? Oh, because you're doing the thing. You're doing the gender is performative thing. Because a woman don't got... Yo, it's it's just gonna make me say the word dyke. Like, I'm sorry. Just it's you're gonna uh, you, talk to somebody, anybody, a human being. It's not that women aren't allowed to be talented. You have to be pretty with big titties and a big ass, then talented. It's like nobody transvestigates Taylor Swift. But like you're telling me Taylor Swift is a man. It's not fair. Dog, dog. She's saying it's not fair because the referee. Because the because her corner threw in the towel when she thought she could still perform. This is not the first time people have said it's not fair. Disgrace and look, and there's your commenter again. Disgraceful. If you have an XY, you're you're a guy. I hope every opponent of this man would just withdraw and make his victory a hollow one, and he gets booed at the podium. One of the most must mo one of the most messed up things I've seen. Commentators kept saying she is angry at her coach for stopping the fight. It was clear she chose to stop because of the power behind the punches. Oh, so these fake ass accounts with these weird ass, like, like with these, with these fucking cryptos are now denying the evidence of things that have happened in boxing. So I said it earlier, not even knowing what the, what the reply was going to be. And immediately, Hey, uh, I heard commentators kept saying the thing that I just said, because it's obvious she chose life. He should be castrated if he wants to be a woman so badly. White women, quite apart from the obvious insanity of allowing men to compete in women's boxing, does anyone else find it strange that a man is chosen representing an Islamic country whose laws are based on Sharia and women's boxing? It's not about women with talent. Stop thinking this is about anything other than you look like a man. At the end of the day, it is you look like a man. Bro, bro, the way this poor ass woman has had to have children and then be transvestigated. Dog, I've, I said this in another, I said this in another fucking video. Serena Williams is a man, is the common, common go-to, even though she has children. So I think that we all kind of get the key poignant purpose <coughs> that's being given to this story. But I'm not done. Because I want to watch the fight back in real time with you too. Now that we've proven what we've needed to prove. Oh, let me reopen that tab. Logan Paul fell for the fucking. Logan Paul fell for the grab it. Logan Paul fell for the propaganda. This is the purest form of evil unfolding right before your eyes. A man was allowed to beat up a woman on a global stage, crushing her life's dream while fighting for her deceased father. This delusion must end. So you've made up a story now and now people are going to run with it. Thanks, Logan. Now that we've looked at the core key of how we got here, let's see what other people are saying and if they fall right into the hole as well. The Surf said, when he's not scamming his fans with crypto or defending his brother's rape accusations, he's attacking women because he, th he thinks she's trans. Right wingers are just making up that she's a trans woman. They're literally just making up a person and getting really mad about it. Let's look at the replies under beer person. Khalif's testosterone was in the normal range too. I was going to correct one of the people who are upset about this, but then I remembered that this is not a winning issue for them electorally, so I figured I'd let it go. Boogeyman. I pointed out last night that people are more horrified at her competing than the child rapist, and they've been sp uh, spurging replies. It's insane how much hate she receives for just having high testosterone, which, is, is, which isn't even like you're being nice in the situation, and that's not even the truth. They are actually trying to force her to declare herself a trans man. They cannot make up their mind on what they think. 
Look how crazy it is. Anyone too strong is now considered a man. This person has confirmed XY chromosomes. Not trans, a male with a rare DSD. Your proof being, women with Swire syndrome have lower T, not elevated. What? Michael Phelps had elevated. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I know we're not doing this right now. Regardless, XY ab or abnormality that gives distinct advantages due to this shouldn't be allowed. She is a he and didn't belong in women's competitions. Gay, not queer. Love that. Love that. Women in the 1960s called this domestic abuse. Now they love it. What changed? Uh, today I learned the difference between being trans and being born male and raised as a woman. These are the people y'all siding with. These are the people y'all siding with. These are the people y'all siding with. I told you so. I told this boxer has been a woman. This boxer is a woman who has been female her entire life. She is not trans. This shows you that this isn't about children. It's about the removal of all LGBTQ plus people from all aspects of society. Men don't belong in women's sports. St I stand with Angela Carini. Let's get it trending. Absolutely. Kamala Harris supports this. Vote accordingly. True or let her deny it. The Olympics did the South Park meme. South Park predicts reality. Male bot, and he's just replying to the worst human beings. Ali London, John Lavere, Lafere, end wokeness. Jack, piece of shit. Alt account. Oh my God, yo. Imane Khalif is biologically female. She played in the 2020 Olympics without outrage. Being trans in Algeria is subject to jail. If you believe there are only two genders, then she is by definition a woman who should compete with women. For the group of people who always poke fun at the left for not knowing what a woman is, I'm slightly confused as to how a biological female with all the correct anatomy but elevated testosterone is not considered a female given there are only two options per your guidance. We can always tell. Sure mess this one up. Anyway, donate to the Trevor Project. Somebody replied, because women's sports is an inherently exclusionary field and intersex people might reasonably not fit into that category in any fair way. So then you're arguing that there's more than two genders, which is something that's literally a campaign slogan for half the world's political parties. And yes, I believe trans women are women. The reason I brought her up her biology was it's a talking point on the right, and I was using their words against them. My apologies if anyone was offended. It wasn't my intention only. It wasn't my intention. Good to know the online right now thinks a person with female anatomy can now be male. Didn't realize we moved the goalposts so far. So the whole general inspection thing that Republicans are trying to do in sports is dumb then, correct? You know that she only allowed to participate in the IOC out of fallout with the boxing variety? And because of that, have no rules? That's a fucking... You literally made that up. Now we're just in dreamland. You are just saying... You are AI generating things to be making me mad about. If she was doing it at the Olympics, he would have been banned. He said she was banned by the Boxing Federation. Even though she was in the 2020 Olympics. Which I know. You said XY chromosomes. Women have XX chromosomes. So then your argument is that someone presenting as female with all female sex organs can still be considered male? Yes. XY chromosomes makes you a genetic male. Even if you have... <laughs> like there's not 20 of them. <laughs> Stop doing that! Stop using the obvious! This, yo, I swear to God, I feel like I'm in, I'm in hell, bro. Like, I feel like I'm in hell, bro. Like, yo, people will chat for the first time ever in here. And, the, and it's just like, oh, I guess you're caught up on all the seasons. I guess you're caught up on everything, because that's all it's been. It's me fighting with, like, your, your PST. A shroom-induced weirdo shit. I, I want to quit the gym. They won't let me quit the gym. Every time I bring it out, they every time I bring it up, they bring out some big titted, hot, six foot seven woman, and she like, you want to go work out with me? And I'm like, yeah, because I forgot what I was talking about. Fuck, man. <sighs> yes, it's like trying to make you a genetic male. Anyway, good chat. Uh, even if you have the extremely rare birth defect sway syndrome that causes you to have female reproductive organs, do you know if Khalif had this condition? The issue is that women cannot physically produce the strength of XY. This is why the, the reason for men and women competing in different divisions, the strength disparity is enormous. <laughs> she can literally give birth to a child. So now you agree men can have kids? You're gonna lose this. <laughs> You're going to lose this fight. So now let's go to the whole 
the whole reason why you probably even hearing about this shit. The whole reason you probably even hearing about this shit is because the nastiest bitches on earth, of course, got something to say. Let's see what our resident titan, Marjorie Taylor Greene, got to say about this. A real woman, Angela Carini, who trained for years to box at the Olympus, is defeated by a real man pretending to be a woman. He is a fraud, an imposter, and a liar. Shame on everyone who allows men to compete against women. Democrats support this. You lie like a sidewalk, bars. Bars is what we deal in here. Anonymous kicked in. You are a liar and a fraud and an evil propagandist. Imani Khalif is not trans. Imani Khalif is not trans. It is illegal in Algeria to be trans, you feckless moron. Khalif is a biological woman. In Algeria, the country that Khalif represents, transgender identity, a transgender identity is prohibited. Changing sex or gender is not allowed in official documents, nor are medical or hormonal treatments allowed to transition to another sex. And then this account said... Is Anonymous lying to us now? Just because you're too stupid to look shit up and see the truth doesn't mean we're lying. Imane was born a woman. Explain. Shows a shoulder. If you're listening to this video and you've clued in in the 20-minute mark, now you understand. This is the trans panic. That's all it leads to. If you are a woman who believes that trans women are replacing you, this is what it leads to. All your successes, if you even become anything outside of the margins of the 1% of what they think women should look like, you're a man now and you deserve to be assaulted and de get denigrated online. Millions, billions of women are about to all undergo this all because of men. Some people would call this the patriarchy in effect. I'd call this social conditioning because you refuse to use Google to find out, well, this is obviously not real, and let it die at this. But now we're at the point where I have to talk about it. So when I say trans rights, this is exactly what I mean. If trans people were felt free to come out, you wouldn't have to transvestigate, because they're going to tell you. But now... Hope you don't look like a man and talk with a deep voice, bitch. Look it up yourself. Anonymous, he has XY chromosomes. Women have XX chromosomes. Are you too stupid to look it up? Try Cytogenics 101 for a start. From a random account, Tom Brewster, I was a cop and state attorney's investigator. Now I write books. I've never gone to Google with a question about President Trump that there wasn't mostly negative information regardless of the question. Oh my God, Hollywood actor Kurt Russell just said it is now proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden cheated in the 2020. And oh my God. 18 missing you write books bro you write books my question how do they know iman uh iman has xy chromosomes even and we're gonna probably find out that that is real and that's probably what the thing they're sticking onto is even in that case it doesn't matter it doesn't matter nothing matters anymore if i give credence to one idea it just leads us right back to the fucking trans shoulder which leads us right to the wall, the wall, the wall that has been created. Can any picture sum up our new men's rights movement better? The smirk of a male who knows he's protected by a misogynist sporting establishment who's en enjoying the distress of a woman he's just punched in the head and whose life ambition he just shattered. First comment. She's not a trans woman, Joanne. This is part of why transphobia is so cancerous. You start attacking anyone who doesn't fit your image of what a woman looks like. Stop spreading in false information to stir up hatred. If you want to write fiction, do another book on wizards. She's literally not trans. If you believe in only two genders that match what you were assigned at birth, she's not a male. She's a biological woman. I'm just happy she knew how to, she knew to get out of there before she got really hurt. Iman Khalif is cis, and like a lot of other cis women, she possesses higher levels of testosterone. It's misogynistic to put women in a box like you're doing right now. Fake. She's not a male. Delete this fellow the evil stuff. Allied States of America. 5,000 uh, followers. Racist piece of shit. She's more of a woman than you'll ever be. Women need to stop engaging and refuse to compete. Any DV survivors see the reflection of some of their worst times in their life here. So I click the profile. Bells on if you like laughing. Jesus is Lord, but also the inventor of humor. Defiantly positive. Stand up comedian. Comedian, serial entrepreneur, CC David Norris, replying to replying to Jordan B. Peterson as your pinned tweet. 
They hate you because they hate me, Jesus. The comment section is wild. Because you said sacrifice on the altar of gender ideology after working her entire life to get where she did. I'm not sure they make changes even when a woman dies because of this. This girl deserves the entire world fighting back for her. This comment section is wild. Because you're dumb. You're still doing this even though the other boxer isn't trans, huh? Her opponent isn't trans, you batshit creep. Oh, retweeting it off of Colin Rugg, who I blocked. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Someone with a DSD cannot help the way they were born, but cannot, but but they can choose not to cheat. They can choose not to take medals from women. They can choose not to cause injuries. She doesn't even have DSD. Oh, my God. Wait a second. Iman was born a girl and has a functioning uterus. Where did all this talk about the boxer man come from? Racism, and as we expected, transphobia is the mindset that women can only be dainty housewives and victims. High testosterone test. It's as high as a male. She is either doping or something else. It's a male. Read up on it. It's a man punching a woman in the head. Click the profile. That's definitely not you. That's definitely not your family. Um, You're camping from fucking London. Okay. So. Now we've been through five more minutes. One side is presenting a very coherent argument. The other one's going, she looks like a man. She looks like a man. Which side are you on? But that's not enough for me. No, 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 these are not males boxing in the Olympics. The, they are cisgender women. They were born women. They have elevated testosterone levels in some XY chromosomes because of intersex traits. Cisgender women with XY chromosomes have given birth before. This moral panic is dumb. You are either saying men can give birth if you're making her out to be a man or something's very fucked up. Proof you can't. It's basic biology your way out of advanced biology. The, the we can always tell crowd in shambles. But let's say, let's say that's not enough for you. Let's say that's not enough for you. Let's find the most liked critical post of this that isn't from a famous person. What's up? I have testicles in my stomach, that's what. And I'm gonna to explain to you how that works. I'm intersex and I was born with a condition called androgen insensitivity syndrome. So I was born an XY chromosome. I know, right, that's usually the guy's chromosome. Because I am completely insensitive to androgen, which is the male dominant hormone, my body could not form properly as a male and for those of you who don't know and we all start off the same as a default baby and then if you're xy usually you grow as a man and then if you're xx chromosome you usually grow as a woman but i stayed as the default baby which is that feminine baby that we all started off as but because my body didn't have the right tools to develop as a female because i was an xy chromosome there was no chance i was going to develop as a female i just stayed in the default baby mode and so i didn't grow a penis unfortunately and my testicles never descended so now i have testicles in my stomach which is interesting and i'm a biological male 52,000 comments it seems to be pretty safe these comments seem to be pretty safe i uh, know i lied most of these comments are jesus freaks in the bottom but that's a nice that's a nice take there and you know what and you know what that's where i'm gonna end it because that's where you've left it Hit the like, hit the bell to stay notified. I'm gonna end this video at exactly 30 minutes. So, Mr. B said at the end of the video, you gotta do, do, do something crazy and cruel, wild and then just end the video on a black screen like, what? That's not a black screen! Everybody used to talk about Ciara and how she was popping. And then at some point or another, I just remember out of somebody's mouth, they said, yo, you know Ciara, man, right? And I was wondering, like, what the fuck are they talking about? And they were like, nah, she a man. She got a dick, bro. She got a dick, bro. That's a man. And I used to wonder, like, 
I'm pretty sure that that is a woman. I don't understand why we're saying these things or even like trying to equip ourselves to say these things. But at the same time, I always questioned, why do these kids care? Thank you. Boots. Doing the boot Thank thing, you so girl. much. I Thank gotta look you. at the heel. I got to oh look at goodness. the heel. Uh-huh. Very nice. You can oh hurt somebody goodness. with those. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, we're going to jump right into it right now. We have a we have a thing that we do sometimes with celebrities that come over here. We do a whole clear-to-air session. Yeah. So if there are any rumors, anything that's going on with Sierra, yeah. which there are all on the internet uh -huh. and all that other mess, mm -hmm. clear the air right now. Let the people know what's going oh on. Oh, So remember that I, as growing up, because I remember watching this live on the air, that's why I knew what to look up. Remind yourself that we have never, we have never, never. Yes, that is correct. They did that to one of Beyonce's backup dances. Yes, that is correct. There's Speak so many really crazy, get, get funny ATL things, grimy. and you know, I gotta say, none of them bother me, but I'll just do it just to do it, because whatever. Um, there's one thing about me being a, a man or something like that before I was, uh, something when I was born, I got a, a change, a really? uh, maphrodite or something like that, okay. and they said that I went on Oprah and did it, and I'm like, okay, come on now, you know, if I was on Oprah, like, I mean, it takes a while before that right. happens for somebody going to Oprah, you know what I mean, like, that's really big, so... We know that didn't happen. If you right. can find it, though, I'll give you a hundred grand and, and fly you around the world and do everything for you if you okay. can find that tape and, and play it for me. Right. Uh, <laughs> shut it down. That, yeah, and then there's something else about um, me being a lesbian or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so sad that I'm sitting right here in the dress and it's like, it's so funny to me. And one thing that I feel about in life is that the bigger and better things get for you, the more people try to bring you down. It's and that's the just truth. the way I see it's it. It's the truth. So, I mean, that's not true. I'm here to say it's not true. If mm -hmm. you can do that, I'll give you a hundred grand again and, and I'll give you the car that I'm trying to buy coming up my, my Range Rover that I want to get I give it to okay. you I want to get it for myself <laughs> okay and those are the worst those are the ones that you, you really yeah those are the two that I've heard I mean it's, it's funny to me though it don't bother me it's cool I've been through it in high school I mean yeah. it is what it is it's all over again it's whatever it's fun this is what I do yeah. whatever so which I guess could be one of the smoothest addendums to that piece that I did you peaked in high school part three People are so used to this. People are so pragmatized to accept that this is just going to happen. We could say it was for its time, but here we are again. Here we are again. They just... What? Gay? No, ridiculous. Exactly. 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 What more is there to say? You're causing this to happen again. They're wrapping it in a new package for you. Do you know why? Because Elon gives them engagement on X. People pay to get them on shows to talk about it. They make money off this. And you're attacking a community for no reason. I have legitimately proved no validity to the trans panic. At this point, if you believe it, it's because you want to. Stinger me out, baby.